Meanwhile, there are growing reports of Islamophobic attacks since Friday's attacks in Paris. Just hours after the Paris assaults, a caller left this voicemail for the Islamic Society of Pinellas County in St. Petersburg, Florida. We're tired of your and I'm going to personally have a, a militia that's going to come down to your Islamic society of Pinellas County, firebomb you, shoot whoever's there on sight in the head. I don't care if they're two years old or a hundred. I'm over your and the whole country is. Check out Facebook, check out postings. This pact in France is the last straw. And, uh, you know, f you, f Allah, f your sand nigger, f get the f out of my country. And my name is Martin Schnitzler. Come find me, please. Please report me, because I will love, love it. You're going to die, my said Sunnah, or whatever the f your, your name is, you f***ing sand nigger. A uh, voicemail for the Islamic Society of Pinellas County in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, again, we beeped as much as we could out of that horrific message, as he repeatedly talked about sand N-words. Uh, meanwhile, in Pflugerville, Texas, residents found a torn Quran covered in feces left in front of a local mosque. In uh, Peterborough, Ontario, a mosque was set on fire in what authorities have called a hate crime. Um, Rula Lush, what are you calling for? Yeah, I mean, we need, at this point, we need to unite. We need to stand united as people and not allow fear and hate to, to take over and to sacrifice our American values and principles. Um, really, in doing so, we would be allowing the, the extremists and the people that we're fighting against to win. Rula, um, in the case of the Florida messages call, like that and he, he actually identified himself. Uh, what is happening um, at the masjid, at the mosque? Um, what are they doing? Uh, how are they protecting themselves? And do you feel that the, uh, the law enforcement response is adequate? So our Care Florida team has been working with the people at the mosque uh, down in Florida, and law enforcement has stepped up to review. I mean, as you said, the person felt comfortable and safe to provide his name. And I think that reflects a disturbing increase in Islamophobia and a disturbing increase in uh, what appears to be acceptability of that type of rhetoric and hate being spewed. And it certainly doesn't help when elected officials seem to be um, following that same line of hate and, and speaking out in ways that are contrary to American values. Well, Rural Alush, I want to thank you for being with us, National Board Chair of the Council on American Islamic Relations, known as CARE. That does it for our broadcast, Democracy.